I'm taking myself into the city today. I went into the city two days ago. Not good, really not good. If I go there and don't have a plan, my anxiety shoots through the roof and I kind of break down and not in the sense of like, I don't break down and cry, but I break down and I'm like, I can't do this, I'm going home. I cannot be impulsive. I went into the city went to one store, got a salad across the street, ate it in my car and went home. That is not an adventure. That is, you could have done that here. But today I gave myself more things to do, more things planned out. Not to the point where it's, I'm on a schedule, but just to the point of, I have these ideas. Maybe it will give me some more structure so that I don't feel as scared, if that makes sense. I also have this fear of filming in public, which I don't know why, because if I saw someone else film in public, I'd be like, honestly, I wouldn't think twice, but if I did think about it, I'd be like, good for them. I eat my food. Time to start the day. There's a new guy working at the post office. Always happy and smiles and tells me to have a good day. And I just wanna give him a big old hug. I just got something pretty cool in the mail. Bradley is doing this pen pal activity where they have you fill out this survey type thing of all the things that you're interested in and then they will partner you up with someone who they think that you would be good friends with. And I just got mine in the mail. I did already open it, but I wanted to show you guys on camera too, this sheet things that you and the other person both like. And then on the other side, it has the other person's address, so I'm not gonna show that, but it has like the program, the pen pal program and what to do once you get the postcard and where you're sending it and just some prompt ideas for what you could write about if you want to. And this is the postcard. Look how cute that is. It's hard because I'm like, I just want to keep this. And these little outfits, you can dress the people up. I filmed myself making this matcha and I have to say I'm no pro at making matcha so if you have any tips on how to make matcha better or anything that you saw that you were like that's not right. I know one thing is that for matcha some reason you're supposed to have a wooden spoon for scooping. I don't know if that's something you have to have but every time I see a matcha company making matcha they're always using those wooden spoons and my dog ate mine so I'm using a metal spoon and I don't know if that's like the proper way to do it, but it's what I'm doing. Is there anything else that's weird about mine? Oh, like my whisk is really old. I know that I need a new whisk. I do bloom it, but I know I need a new one. Mm -hmm. 